Today's rich kid going homeless is 21-year-old Josh, a country boy with a gift of the gab who lives a gilded life on his parents' vast estate. All of this, pretty much, trees, um, all the way down the bottom, across that field there, is all of ours. We've got about 27 acres altogether. When he isn't riding one of his eight thoroughbreds, he is riding one of his rare and highly prized motorbikes. The bikes, that is probably about 250k. And the precious collections don't end there. I got my Rolex, Breitling. I'm a sucker for watches. Just a ballpark figure of those 10 watches, 40 grand. For big spender Josh, the exquisite taste extends well beyond just bling. Bottles of champagne from Dom Perignon to Lomp Perrier. Fine brandies, fine whiskies. This is from oh, the QE2. That's where it's from. So we've got a brandy that's probably about 20k. However, Josh has agreed to give up all these luxuries to sleep rough on the streets of London, as he has strong views about the city's homeless. Homeless people can sometimes be, oh, we're so hard done by, blah, blah, blah. Some homeless people, they're looking for a free handout, and they're not actively looking to try and get themselves off the streets. Some of them are lazy. You could probably do something a bit more than just shake a cup and say, please can I have some money. Josh believes that all it takes to get off the streets is a strong work ethic. My plan is hopefully quite a good one. After 24 hours, I should be off the street. Rich kid Josh will swap his country pile for the cold pavements of Westminster where there are more rough sleepers than any other area in the UK. Where violence, drug and alcohol addiction and deaths from the cold are part of a daily existence for the homeless. Half of whom suffer from a mental illness and most live in constant fear of abuse. Thank you so much. Having been dropped in London's busiest homeless hotspot, it's not long before he meets a fellow rough sleeper, Tommy. How long, how long have you been on the streets? A few years. How do you survive? But at the moment, I'm not doing too bad. I'm in and out of hostels. And how did you, how did you get into that situation? Um, getting bored. Well, you know, things kind of snowball along, you know. I've always managed to get by, you know. Like I say, get married. Work hard, children, whatever. It's, you know, normal things people do, but you never know when it's going to happen to you. That you end up in a situation where it's, hey man, I'm homeless, you know, and here you are. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a pound if you, if you want a pound. I can't be taking money off of you, because that, that's, your, that's your livelihood then. That's a pound, isn't it? I know, a pound. It'll, it'll help you. But a pound's a lot of money to somebody who hasn't got a pound in it. It'll help you. Are you sure? Yeah. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate that. I really do. No way. I'll yeah. come I'll come find you tomorrow. If I make enough money, I'll give you your pound back. God bless you. Thank you, mate. You just look after yourself on the street. Thank you, mate. God bless you, mate. I really appreciate that. He just offered me a pound, which, that's nuts. I mean, that's his livelihood. And he's just, he's just happily just gone, there you go, mate. Good luck. He's, he's bumped, bumped, bumped me up. Some people, they're just completely just bank you. I can't believe, just, yeah, the, the amount of people that just go, Phew. You're not even that, you're nothing. I don't, I don't want to see you, let alone talk to you. I just want a pound, that was all for the water. It doesn't matter whether you're in the 1% or right down the bottom. You've got to treat everyone with the same respect. And I thought, you know, a lot of people would have been like that, but obviously not. It's just one, the one pound for, for a bottle, is that all right? Oh, mate, you're absolutely hero. Right. Thank you, buddy. Give me about five minutes. Mm -hmm. 
I was getting rejected a lot, and I wasn't expecting that. Everyone else was 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 busy. Hey, they didn't want to know because they don't want to look at a homeless person. Ten pounds a lot of money. Like asking for a pound is one thing, and then giving ten is another. Mate, you don't know how many people have said no. Only water, isn't it? It's water. You sleep on the streets, that helps you. It's water. It's water. Don't worry, mate. It's, it's, it's hard. I know it's hard. It's cold as well, isn't it, for you? Isn't yeah. it? I've only done one night. You've got to be careful, mate. You have to be careful, mate. Don't worry. I'm sure there's more genuine people like myself out there that will help you as well. So. Yeah, but the amount of people just walk past and say no and no, it just... Yeah. Cheers, bro. Thank you. I lost my parents in a house fire. Oh. And I got my brother out. I couldn't get my mum and dad out. How old were you then? Um, about 23, I think, 24. That's messed with your head mentally. Oh, it still does now. So you have no. flashbacks and stuff? Oh, I have nightmares. Tell me my head. I've walked away from everything in my life, you know? Do you have any intentions of getting off the streets properly? I had a flat. But I walked out of the flat because the whole place was full of drug dealers. You see my door, you would have, you would have seen how many times we got to I weren't going to get myself put in prison again. You know? You went to prison as well? Yeah, I've been in prison. You know? You just want to feel safe, relax, and get some sleep, you know? So, the plan that I had, which was selling the bottles of water. Yeah, yeah. Would that be something that you would try out? You haven't got a licence, yeah. So you can be arrested for what sort of But they usually just take your goods off, yeah. So even if they, you've got nothing, yeah, they don't matter. They they take they don't see the concept of you doing that. So you... but then you going out and robbing someone or you know what I mean? He's actually just got an eye view of thinking that it's easy. Not because it's all come easy for him. Yeah? He needs the knockbacks. And believe me, there's a lot more knockbacks than there are yeses. You know? A hell of a lot. William wants to show Josh more of his life on the streets, and they head back to his tent. Here's another guy, Tommy. Arriving there, they see a familiar face, Tommy from the previous evening. You all right? This is the lad I was talking about yesterday. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Hello, Tommy. All right, mate. I've got something for you. Have you? Yeah. You know what you gave me yesterday? Yeah. And that's interest for you. One pound yeah. ninety-five. Wow. Wow, man. Yeah. Josh, who are we? Josh, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is Josh. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Get me. Amazing. I'll tell you, amazing. And this is where it all happens, where I sleep, where I beg. It looks very warm. Yeah, oh yeah. This is virtually my house. Yeah. So I've got to look after it. These are like my mate's drawings and a couple of These mine. These are incredible drawings. Yeah. And these are messages that I write on the wall. And as I said, someone's written me a message, God bless. And do you, do you find yourself feeling really lonely? All the time. Oh. All the time. Even when there's people around you sometimes, you still feel lonely. I don't come out of here for days sometimes. Some days you don't want to get up because you know you're going to do the same thing again day after day after day after day. If you're new to it, it's different. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm, I couldn't hack doing this for for loads of nights. I don't think you're gonna get the general idea of if you stay in a backpackers hostel, which is not an actual hostel. If you was going back where there was actually homeless people, yeah, I suppose so. I think you need to knock that on the head and come and stay here. What with you? Yeah. I know it sounds a bit stupid, but you, you know when you get the, the cold into you? you yeah, know, listen. Well, I know all about that. That's what you got to remember, you know? Homeless person ain't got that choice. You know? I suppose so.